Hi everyone, welcome to TCV. In this tutorial, we will be seeing how we can insert the UDA inside the model object or the drawing object. There are many ways through which you can insert the UDA or any other properties inside the model object or the drawing object. First, we will understand how we can insert the UDA with the manual process. In this, we have to select the members Alt Enter. If you don't know the shortcut, you can double click on the member this property window will appear and here is the uda so there are many attribute we will be having inside this form right now i have inserted the user field one for the testing purpose i am inserting here also uda to and modify apply okay so after that if you will see uh, here the UDA2 has been inserted. So right now it is very easy for the modeler to insert the UDA for one or two or maybe the 10 members. But just assume the situation where we will be having many members, suppose the 1000, 2000. In front of that, we need to insert UDA. Not only one UDA, maybe we need to insert the comment phase. And many other things also so in this kind of situations we need to think smarter so that we can reduce the human efforts and also improve the quality so let's have some practical demonstration of the method to avoid the manual process to insert the uda inside the model object or the drawing object for that we have to go to the file here we have the option import and then we have to go to the attribute this window will appear tecla structure import attribute here you can see the option input file so you can browse it so this input file already i have prepared inside my model folder so this input file is nothing but a text file you can give any name to this file just open it and uh, this file you need to prepare it by yourself according to your need so this column header must contain the name of the property and the user defined attribute of the model object or the drawing so right now i want to insert the user face and the user field one in front of the part having the guid number listed here so for in front of the each and every guid i want to insert these values of this name and the ud and another important thing that the column header should contain the key property right now i have the key properties as a guid because i want to insert my uda's face and field one inside the model object so in the model object your key property could be guid assembly position or mark and face if you are working inside the drawing interface, your key property could be type name and GUID. Right now in this example, we have set the GUID. GUID, how you will see, you have to select the member and uh, inquire the part. It will be listed over here. This UID is uh, always uh, different for every part. Okay, that's why it's very unique. So by seeing this GUID, our Tecla structure will understand that on this particular object, Tecla need to insert this two things. So right now, uh, if you can see here in this for particular member, uh, my user field one is uh, user field uh, uh, column one already I have been set, and uh, user face right now is empty. So another important option you can see inside this form is input file delimiters. So you can set the space, comma, semicolon, space, tab, other user defined. So right now I have set the comma inside our files in between the key properties and the UDA which we want to insert inside the part. So likewise you can also set the tab, space, whatever in which you are comfortable. So before importing the attribute to this form, so I just want to tell you that uh, for each and every member uh, we have the user field one as in user field column one which you can see through the text 
uh, after implementing this value will be change according to this file so let's see how it works so here from the input files because i have already placed this attribute dot text file inside my folder i have to give the path and uh, input file delimiter because uh, delimiters i have given as a column so i will select it as a column if you have the space in your file then you need to select this space and uh, input scope so here we have the these options right now i want to insert these UDAs for the selected member. So, for the selected members only, this UDA will get import. Okay, and uh, because uh, for this create log files, if you are running this uh, tool very first time in your current model folder, then you have to select the create. If you are running it a second time, then you have to place the append okay display log files on dialog no so go to the apply create so now you can see for the selected members uh, our uda has been changed before that it was the user field one right now in front of the guids whatever the user face and the uda we had listed it's been inserted I'm giving the control Z and let's understand the second option. Right now I'm not giving a selection, I'm giving the entire model. So in that I don't need to select the members and just go to the apply and right now I'm giving the on dialog also and apply create. So your logs also will get appear and you can see uh, here everything has been inserted okay and uh, here you can see everything has been inserted as per the text file so with the single click you can insert many UDAs and if you want to extend suppose you want to insert the UDA 1 2 3 and the name or class something you want to insert you can extend this files according to your need so thank you for watching the videos. Have a nice day.